a mysterious humanoid creature is said to roam the forests of Oregon and the west coast of North America, commonly known as Bigfoot or Sasquatch. The term Sasquatch originates from the Halka Malam language spoken by First Nations peoples in southwestern British Columbia. Supporters of Bigfoot's existence describe it as a large, bipedal creature covered in hair, standing up to eight feet tall and exhibiting ape-like features. Many claim to have encountered correspondingly large footprints believed to belong to this elusive being. Despite their purported size, Bigfoot is typically portrayed as non-aggressive, relying on its shyness and human-like intelligence to evade human contact. Reports from wilderness travelers occasionally mention catching a whiff of an unpleasant odor or hearing peculiar screams and whistles attributed to these creatures. Over time, tales of Bigfoot have woven themselves into oral histories, seamlessly integrating into regional folklore. The documented history of Bigfoot traces back to 1904 when settlers in the Coast Range reported sightings of a hairy wild man in the Sixes River area of Oregon. Subsequent decades brought forth similar accounts from miners and hunters, contributing to the evolving narrative surrounding this elusive creature. However, in the heart of the Canadian wilderness, a story unfolded that would captivate the world's imagination. A tale that blurred the lines between reality and legend. It was 1924, when gold prospector Albert Ostman ventured into the untamed wilderness near Mount Waddington in search of fortune. Little did he know, his quest for gold would lead him to an encounter that defied belief. A chilling and astonishing rendezvous with creatures of legend. One night, while Ostman was asleep in his makeshift camp, he claimed he was suddenly and inexplicably lifted along with his sleeping bag and captured by a group of Sasquatches. He found himself inside a dark enclosure, carried on the shoulder of a powerful, hairy creature. For several days, Ostman was held captive by these mysterious beings. He described the Sasquatches as large, ape-like creatures standing around eight feet tall, covered in thick, dark hair. They seemed to be a family unit, exhibiting behaviors akin to primitive humans. Ostman observed them gathering and consuming roots, berries, and fish from the surrounding wilderness. Despite the frightful circumstances, Ostman claimed the Sasquatches did not harm him. Instead, they appeared curious about his belongings. They investigated his gear and even tasted his supply of snuff, chewing tobacco, which they found particularly appealing. Ostman believed the Sasquatches consumed the snuff, causing them to become drowsy and fall asleep. Seizing the opportunity presented by the creature's slumber, Ostman stealthily freed himself from the enclosure and made a daring escape, fleeing through the dense forest until he found his way back to civilization. Upon his return, Ostman kept his encounter with the Sasquatch a secret for many years. He was apprehensive about sharing his extraordinary tale fearing ridicule or disbelief from the public. It wasn't until several decades after the incident, in 1957, that Ostwan finally decided to reveal his astonishing account of being abducted and held captive by the Sasquatch, eventually becoming one of the most famous encounters in Bigfoot lore. However, skepticism abounded, with many questioning the plausibility of such an extraordinary story. Despite scrutiny and attempts to debunk his account, Ostman maintained his version of events until his passing, leaving behind a compelling and mysterious tale of a remarkable encounter with the elusive Sasquatch. Such an encounter prompts us to reconsider the depth of their existence and the potential for a deeper, more intricate relationship between humans and this elusive being.